Test, 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 test. All right, we're all synced up. Howdy, folks. I had a little chit-chat with you last week, so uh, I thought I'd throw another one together for you this week. The uh, one thing I learned from last week is uh, keep your hands away from your face when you're talking into a camera, Dan. It looks kind of stupid. So, last week we had a uh, little chit-chat session. Chit-chat with Dan. There it is. Chit-chat with Dan. Weekly sessions. Uh, always lots to say. Always lots to do. I don't have a lot of skills in this life, but you know what? I can talk. I can talk. Anyways, how are you guys? I hope everybody's fine. I am uh, sore AF, as the kids like to say. We had a uh, record, the fifth largest snowfall of all time in Ottawa happened yesterday. And I spent about six hours shoveling it all up. Uh, so I am sore, but uh, mouth still works. Mouth was completely unfazed by the uh, blizzard, so lucky you. But there's some exciting news today. Chit chat with Dan today is kind of a result of something that happened like 30 minutes ago. The, uh, the family is growing. The uh, family is growing. Here, here is the latest baby in the Dan Nutel family. Yet another Fujifilm XP action camera. So, first one, two years ago, 2019, after Christmas, some guy was selling this. The week after Christmas, they're like, whatever, 179 bucks brand new. The week after Christmas, he was selling it for like 150. Next week, 125. Next week, 100. Next week, 80. And at that point, I jumped on this at 80. I got the box and everything with it. So this was my first one, and you know what, from going from a big camera, like this one, big DSLR, cinema kind of type cameras, to a little thing that's so, con this is my first ever action camera, and I, I just loved it. It changed everything. I brought it everywhere with me. Again, I didn't have a uh, smartphone, so I brought this everywhere. It has time lapse on it. It just, it made photography so much fun again. So, uh, so I bought this one, then a little while later, I bought a second one. Uh, so these have been my two, basically any ski videos, any outdoor stuff, biking, any things like that. It's been these two cameras. I've made literally hundreds of videos, well over a hundred videos with these two cameras. Uh, oh wait, not this one, this one. So the first one, $80. This one I think I paid about 50 bucks for. This is number three that somebody was giving away free. Just said, come pick it up. This one, not so good. I'll be honest with you, not great. Uh, but this one, the last video I made, Wild Weekend, just posted it a few days ago. The last video was shot entirely on this one, and this one has focusing issues now. It's always like, dit, 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 dit. hands away from your face. It's always like, when low contrast situations, when it's up close, it just can't focus properly. It springs or something's broken, and the last video I made was really good. Like, awesome if I do say so myself but it has these little focusing things in it so that was it I had to go get another one did a quick search online found this local store local bricks and mortar store here in the greater Ottawa area found this for 139 so you know I think at some point you dive in the uh, the, the point, the reason I'm doing this is, is again, it's, it's super important you understand that it's not fancy stuff that makes good, good images or good videos. It's, it's beauty transcends the quality of the camera. Uh, what these things have is they have uh, a really nice convenience to quality factor. I put them in my pocket, I bring them anywhere, I stick them to the dashboard of my car, stick them on the front hood of my car. Initially, I bought this one to stick it to my bumper to get nice, cool, smooth shots of the road as I drove. That's what I got it for. It was a total throwaway camera. 
Instead, I never imagined all the stuff I'd do with it. So today, we got another one. This is a uh, XP120. It's two generations behind the modern version. Uh, we're currently at the 140. Oh, look at that. Super cool color. And uh, ah, there's, there's the battery. So uh, two generations behind, but you know what? It's got everything I need. It's a cool little action camera. Unlike a GoPro, it has, uh, unlike a GoPro, it has big screen. It's got all the interactivity, all the buttons and mechanical stuff right on it. So it's not a menu based thing. It's not reliant on, uh, it's not reliant on tons and tons of uh, menus and mobile phones and stuff. Mm -hmm. Boom. Here we go. It's on. Uh, oh, look at that. I really like the color, man. And best of all, I got 10 batteries. When you get one of these things, it's battery power. I, each battery lasts like 15 minutes. So I already have the batteries. All my uh, action ski skate videos will be done on this bad boy from now on. Uh, yeah, anyways, the, the point is, and I'm gonna keep coming back to this, it, it isn't fancy gear. It isn't fancy gear that that makes nice things. It isn't fancy gear that can relate emotion to people. It isn't fancy gear that tells stories. These little crappy cameras, I've done some of my best work on them. You know, get out there, enjoy, dive in, do things. You know, this camera's pretty much could put, now the photo works. I can still do time lapses with it. This one, I dropped it on my bike, totally could put. This one, photo still works. This one, eh, not great. But now we have 1080 video again. No focusing issues, two years guarantee. Uh, and that's that. Just an easy video for me to make today, but I like to, uh, to document the new stuff I get. That's it, sorry if I bored you. Talk to you later.